What is up, Tyler? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I always give that intro for my videos. Um, but yeah, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for um, allowing me to read for you again. It is such an honor to read for the Tarot King. Okay, you are amazing. I know you probably get this a lot, but I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Like, thank you so much. Like, it really means a lot to me to do this reading just for you, for solely for you to watch this. And um, just see what comes out. I guess we're going to do some uh, random, I guess, confirmations or random. These are going to be more so predictions or I guess what spirit wants you to know, what's around you. Uh, this could be someone around you. This could be you. So we're going to do that. So I want to just um, tell you guys what we're going to be doing with this reading. But again, I want to say thank you so much, Tyler. Like, again, it means a lot to me for to do this reading for you. Like, it's it's just it means a lot thank you thank you thank you thank you so much can't thank you enough all right so i'm gonna be doing so i made these random cards i usually use these for like collective readings not really personals but i'm just gonna use this for you um i'm gonna see what comes out i guess what spirit wants you to know um also if it may not resonate right now this could also be future so these so these like cards i also feel like like fortune cards i call them my little fortune cards but they can be used you know to for to you know read any any type of energies but more so this is more so future okay so we got astral traveling so one thing you need to know is that you may buy, you may start to be astral traveling maybe your you, uh, your dreams may be very vivid um and if it hasn't happened this could start happening for you all right, you could definitely be astral traveling a lot in the future. So pay attention to your dreams. We got spirit says yes. So this is confirmation. I also feel like if you're wondering about something in your mind, if you have a question, spirit says yes, okay, to that question. Um, but spirit is saying yes, okay. We got pregnancy, positive pregnancy test. So somebody around you could be pregnant. This could be a family member or you may hear of a pregnancy. Somebody could be getting pregnant, all right. I know I was thinking about like a spirit baby. I don't know how that's significant, but I heard it could even be like a spirit baby. But I also feel like there's somebody around you that could be getting pregnant. The helicopter, oh my gosh, it's so annoying, but that could be confirmation. You could be hearing maybe a lot of helicopters or like a plane flying by. That could be a sign also that spirit is around you or that this could even be traveling for you. So I do see a lot of traveling, okay? Um... I do see Europe too for you, like around next summer, maybe going into spring, late spring, going to summer, maybe you may travel to Europe. All right, I do see Europe here. We got Spirit says yes. So yeah, we got seasonal depression, all right? So there could be someone around you who could be going through some depression. All right, I'm gonna be clarifying this, but I do see seasonal depression here. Wow, you are about to be very famous big. Okay, so we're gonna pull some more, but you already, I mean, you already are, but you, I feel like your, your career is about to skyrocket more. All right. So look out for like next year going to like, I, I want to say, look out for the dates, January to March and then May 20th to the 31st. That could be significant for you. Like those dates. So May 20th to the 31st of 2024. Can you believe it's already the new year, Tyler? That's crazy. But yeah, those dates are going to be very significant for you when it comes to careers. Or there's going to be something very important coming up for you around those dates. Something big, okay? But you got, you are about to be very big, very famous. No shocker, you are literally, like I said, um, you are definitely going to be more, like, more into this energy of, like, being more bigger than you are right it's like it's like you may you may i don't know if you feel this now but i don't know if you sometimes you feel like you've climbed this ladder i'm going to show you an example from my coke right it's like here's the top of this straw but you may feel sometimes that and it could be maybe sometimes self-limiting beliefs that you may kind of feel like there's more the like spirit wants you to see that there's more that you are going to achieve right it's almost like you when you hit that milestone but then it's like okay you feel like sometimes you make you feel like you hit a wall in a certain situation when it comes to career i see that leveling up and i heard something about your past lives as well so you may start to have a lot of deja vu um experiences especially with this astral traveling okay 
or you may be like something about your past life. So I don't know if you've gotten a past life reading or a past life regression or if you believe in this. Um, but I do feel like you may get one. And if you already have gotten one, I do feel like you may get another one or you may start to have a lot of deja vu moments in your life. And something about your past lives, because I do feel like with your leader, the leader card is in the reverse. And I feel like this is because and this is like Aries energy. And I feel like this is more so talking about there's something else in your purpose that you're going to figure out. Like, yes, you are a leader. You know, you you have you are a leader. You are definitely a leadership position. Right. You are you know, you have created your your purpose for yourself, you know, in a very successful manner. But I definitely feel like um, there's another like spirit is showing me like you we all have multiple purposes right in our lifetime and i feel like you're on the right track everything you're doing you're, it's your purpose but there's something else that spirit is going to reveal to you um next coming year that you're going to step more into a leadership position more so realizing embodying more of this leadership energy because i mean you already you i feel you know you are a leader you know you are the king but it's more so like a different level of kingness right it's like you are the king but then it's first like no but aim like you're gonna have an opportunity to be more of what you are now this is why this is coming out you're gonna be very big very famous okay um I also wanted to say, too, you may even go to a place that feels very, and I don't feel it's your hometown. I feel like it's somewhere else. Maybe you've been here already. Maybe you've been there, been here. Wow. So you already been there from a past life to this place. I'm not sure if you have been to this place yet or you're going to go to this place and it looks like you're going to really fall in love with it and it's going to feel extremely familiar to you where you're like I've been here before it feels so familiar or you may meet somebody or like the people or the area feels very familiar and I'm also seeing like a statue in my head um so a statue could be very significant okay and I do feel like it could be like I don't know like an angel statue or there's a statue that but also feel very familiar to you. And you may really like this statue. You may feel very drawn to a statue. So I don't feel like you have encountered a statue. I don't know why I'm getting a statue. It feels like a statue. It doesn't have to be, but it's coming off as like a statue or a figure. Um, maybe this could be a figure of a leader here too. But I also feel like what Spirit is saying, like you are about to be even more like bigger. Like it's a, like if you feel like you, you're already big now, it's about to be, a, like a hundred times bigger for you okay um and i don't know if you have some seasonal depression i'm going to clarify this but there may be like a seasonal energy of being a little bit sad or maybe feeling tired maybe feeling drained or this could be someone around you okay um and we got positive pregnancy tests so this could be someone who's pregnant that could maybe going through a seasonal depression or if it's not that i'm gonna i'm gonna clarify this with the tarot though but we're gonna keep going we got Archangel is fighting for you. So remember I was saying, that's crazy. I was thinking about a statue. I don't know if you've thought about an arc, getting an Archangel Michael statue. It doesn't have to be. But know that Archangel Michael is around you. I think I channeled that for you before in my other reading that Archangel Michael was fighting for you. So I do feel like you are very protected um, in the angelic realm. You may like see a lot more angel numbers. Look, 111, 222, 444, especially 444. All right, you may look down at your watch and you say, hey, it's 444, hey, it's 222. That's Archangel Michael is going to be very heavy around you. So especially when you start to get this level of success, all right, I feel like Archangel Michael is going to be like allegiance to you, like around you a lot. I know that's very like random, but that's what's coming through. So you may, um, also, I don't know if like you may take a picture and you may see like, like a figures of like blues and purples or like hues of like those colors that could even be significant or maybe in a video or something that you do you may see like something around you it could even be like an orb but it's more prevalent that's a sign that archangel michael is around you like he is he is he is literally fighting for you okay we got tiktok famous viral wow it's crazy because i don't normally use these cards for personal readings but it feels like it's flowing for you so you got two fame cards so I don't know if, I don't think you do have a TikTok, do you? Or you used to? 
if not, I don't know, you may have, maybe you may create a TikTok account in the future um, or something about TikTok or you, maybe somebody makes a repost of you on TikTok and you go more viral on TikTok or maybe you start to go on TikTok or something about TikTok or maybe working together with someone from TikTok could be significant. All right, maybe this could be another reader or this could be someone, an influencer here, or this is you like maybe stepping into a different platform, still, you know, kind of branching out to different areas. If it's not TikTok, it's some type of other platform here, okay? We got losing weight. Wow, so you definitely could be losing weight. You have to be very, so interesting. You may also, um, when you start to get more, like fame you may like lose weight or you may be more like keen on you like um your body and your image okay that could even be um like on a sign or that could be something that comes comes through losing weight all right or you are in the process of that right now we got move in silence so yeah i feel like you're gonna be moving in silence with some type of business deal with something that you're gonna I feel like you're not going to announce it. This one, I feel, is going to be very moving in silence. And if you announce it, it's going to be extremely last minute when you are, when it's almost like you announce it when you're already doing it, right? That's when you make the announcement, not when you do it before. You're going to be definitely moving in silence. I also feel like there is an influencer, like a musician, an artist, could be a mainstream artist, doesn't have to be, that mentions you in a song or mentions your name in a song mentions something of you in a song and i do feel i feel like it's a mainstream artist okay uh could be a rapper could be r b doesn't have to be but i'm picking up this energy about this person um i also feel like you may like i don't know if you may like want to create like a like a i know you have like a theme song intro but i don't know if you may want to like create a actual like a song song you know what i mean like those songs that are like three minutes long or like you know what i'm trying to say tyler there may be an opportunity for that for you and this could be an artist who wants to work with you maybe they want to put you in like a music video or they want you to start start in something it looks like a music video or something with music okay or this could be maybe you create something like this but you're going to be moving in silence yes oh my god come through spirit we got musical musician so this could be a musical or a musician energy all right so i do feel like with something about you're going to move very you're going to be moving in silence with this musician or this musical is something that you're going to keep silence all right but it's i feel like you need to move in silence with this right so just when this does come up um because this may not be resonating right now for you maybe none of this is resonating right now for you but it's going to be happening for you um, so also be on the lookout for that. So that's really good. I really love this energy. We do got soul ties. Okay, so there could be somebody that hmm. I'm gonna we got brown eyes. I'm gonna tell you also there there's somebody in your energy and I was picking this up before like when I was like channeling your energy right before I started filming this um and i was kind of like gonna not not really touch on that because i thought this may sound really crazy and i don't know if you may believe it um but there's somebody sorry i got a text message i don't know see the distraction that's a sign there's somebody this is somebody that you don't know who is a female and i do see she has dark like dark blonde, could be like dark brown hair. It looks kind of dark blonde. I do feel like she has a bit of a tan or she self tans. She's a fan of you, but she's very like, she's very crazy. And she's very like, when I say obsessed, Tyler, like this girl, cause I can't cuss. This girl, I don't think I've cussed on YouTube. Um, This girl has like, all your photos like i see this it's crazy what's showing me to me and i and i what i'm gonna tell you it may sound very crazy and i don't know if you're gonna believe it but this is i guess what spirit wants you to know and i feel like this is why archangel michael is here is that there is someone that is like either trying to do work on you but they're obsessed with you it's like they're trying to do something to get your attention and the reason why this person is doing this is because they could have went to another reader not that they could have they went to another reader and this reader 
told them that y'all were meant to be together. I don't know if this she told exactly who you were or she just said Tyler, but didn't say Tyler, you know, more about you, you know, Tyler's tarot. But there's someone around you, not around you, I don't want to say around you, but they're around your energy, meaning that they watch you a lot. So technically they would be around your energy that they they this reader told them that and they literally think that you're their person. Like this is somebody who is like obsessed. Maybe they even tried doing like, you know, that rinky dinky stuff on you, but it's not working. But this person even gets readings on you. OK. Wow, I got. I cannot believe, bro, I get psychic readings about you. This is crazy, Tyler. This is crazy. I'm not making this up, y'all. Like, there are people that really do this, and it's really crazy because they, they literally, let me put that card back in, but this person keeps trying to come in, or maybe you could be getting psychic readings about someone right? This could be someone maybe in your family. This could be you. Maybe you're getting psychic readings on a family member, or this could be you. But there is somebody that is obsessed. I'm going to clarify with the tarot. I'm going to, this is juicy. This is very juicy. We got screenshotting your posts and pictures. Who is this chick? Leave my Tyler alone. <laughs> Leave Tyler alone. This is somebody who's screenshotting your posts, your pictures. Yeah, this is somebody who is really a, like, boy, when I say people are going to be like, oh, well, you know, yes, he's Tyler. He has people that are obsessed. Yeah, you're amazing. But it's like this person's like extremely obsessed where it's like it's not healthy. It's like borderline crazy and creepy how much they are obsessed with you. OK, you also got other people, readers tapping into your energy. Um, Maybe you may even may maybe other readers may want to really. You got even readers that are like trying to see what you're doing. Like that's, you know, that happens to us a lot when it comes to our, when we're readers, you got even other readers that are trying to get readings on you, see what you're doing. You know, people could be trying to tap into your energy. They want to see what's coming in for you. All right. But it feels some of these readers could be very nosy. All right. So yeah, that's interesting. It's a lot of energies coming through. We got Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio reader or this. We are in Scorpio season. All right. So this could be during Scorpio season or Scorpio. This female could be a Scorpio. All right. We got creepy vibes. I cannot make this up. So, yeah, I feel like something is very creepy. OK, this person is creepy. I don't know. You may meet a, a creepy Scorpio or something or something about. A, I don't know. This is kind of weird. This is a weird energy. We got car issues, accident. Okay, so you may you may experience maybe some issues with your car. All right. I don't want to say an accident. I'm not feeling an accident, but or you may see someone, you may see a car crash, or you may see an accident, okay? Um Something is just creepy and I hear a crow outside. So you could be hearing crows or like this person is just kind of weird. We got doctor's appointment. All right. So somebody could be uh, you could be going to a doctor's appointment soon. Then we got the joke is on them. You're getting the last laugh. We have gym body. So, yeah, I'm going to pull one more card for you. Let's see what comes out. We got small town. All right, so something about a small town. You could be going back to a small town. Um, maybe this person could be from a small town too. Let's think about a small town as well. Maybe you're looking at a small town. You could be going to a small town maybe in the future. But we got gym body, so you're definitely working on your body, which is why this losing weight card is here. But we got the jokers on them. So I'm going to clarify. Which cards am I going to clarify for you? I want to clarify who this person is. Um, I'm going to clarify seasonal depression and I'm going to clarify the fame card. Okay. Cause I feel like these are the cards that are just spirit is trying to highlight for me to you. I get psychic readings on you. We got the three of pentacles. Yep. This could be multiple people. All right. I'm also seeing this collaboration that's coming in for you. Like this could be like I said, an artist and I do see like music symbols in the cards. So I didn't feel like somebody wants to work with you. Look out for uh 333 three, three. and if you see on the top it says one like 111 one, one, that could be a sign for you 
all right there's definitely going to be a big big collaboration for you you got a lot of energy it's crazy we got the knight of wands this could be a younger fire sign energy who wants to work with you um i do see a very i do see a lot of passion igniting though with this opportunity um and it's something that you may have to take a risk with or you may have to take a leap of faith with this all right um, it feels very spontaneous too. Also, there is another energy here of someone who may not be very reliable when it comes to, um, I don't feel like it's this person. It's another energy. There's two energies here. There's a music contract I'm seeing. And then there's a person here that wants to work with you, but be kind of mindful because this person is not very responsible. Um, and they're very, they're not very consistent. Like they don't really, either they don't go with their word or they're very in and out. So you're going to know this. When this happens, you're going to know this. Um, also, try to be consistent with your, when it comes to like working out, try, you know, try to be more like consistent. I do see the gym here with this three of pentacles, not a wand. So really working out is going to be a big theme for you also for next year. We got the six of pentacles, bro. You got a lot of gifts, gifting things to you. You got, I mean, it looks good. It looks very good. Okay. But there's also, like I said, someone that you need to kind of look at how their actions is. Could be this could be someone coming in, uh, somebody who wants to work with you. Make sure that you know they have the credentials. Make sure that they have the the resources. Okay, but I don't know why I'm also seeing not. I don't know why. I know why. Um, sorry if I talk a lot, Tyler. I just channel a lot of information. But there's definitely going to be this big opportunity when it comes to a music or this career. So I definitely you're going to be much bigger. Now, let's clarify. I've been getting psychic readings from you. I want to see who this is because I feel like this person is really weird. Like, I don't know why they're even coming in your energy because I don't feel you know this person. Like, personally, you may. I don't know. We're going to see. Clarify, get readings from you. Queen of Wands reversed. So it could be a fire sign. We got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is stuck. Stuck on you. Like, they're, they're getting, they're tapping into your energy. This person is, remember I said they're obsessed with you? We got the Moon card in reverse. So it could be a Pisces. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. My cards fell. And we got the Queen of Wands. So it's a feminine energy. Remember I said this person can have, like, blonde, dark, uh, dark brown, dark blonde hair. This person is... I don't know, this person's weird. You may find this out with this moon in reverse, or you may intuitively feel some weird, like you may pick up on this intuitively, or you find this out, and if you don't find this out, or you don't are not aware of it, it's like this is just what spirit is revealing to you in this reading with this moon in reverse. Very weird energy. All right, let's clarify seasonal depression for you. What about this seasonal depression? What is this about? Who is this? So there may be some seasonal depression that comes in. I feel like it's very temporary though. It's it's not it's may may last like two weeks, three weeks. Okay, this could definitely coming into winter time. There may be a seasonal depression energy, or maybe just feeling a bit tired. Maybe feeling a, not really, you know, not not feeling very motivated. This, but I'm gonna see who this is. It may not be your energy. Okay, this could just be someone around you. We got the Queen of Cups. So it's a water sign. So somebody is going through some type of depression. So it could be a feminine energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio around you who could be going through um, a seasonal depression. OK, so this could be family member. This could be whoever this is to you. Uh, somebody is definitely very emotional. I do see crying. Somebody may go through a crying period, but they're they're healing, though, which is really good. Because I like to see this upright. I don't like to see this reverse because this could be very like emotionally unbalanced very like overly emotional and we got the fool card so we got aries energy so i also feel like you may help this person get out of this or this person gets out of this quickly because the fool card to me is about a new beginning right it's about going into a new chapter so this is gonna definitely a new season i definitely feel like this could coming be coming into winter but you know how there's a lot of sun here and you know what too this could even be due to the the time change Tyler, you know how we just had the time change recently, like where it gets dark at five, which is crazy. So I don't know if this is your energy. I don't feel like it's your energy. I feel like it's someone else's energy, but they're connected to you with this. They're de definitely emotionally connected to you with this Queen of Cups. But I feel like they're going to get out of this very fast or you help this person get out of this. 
Now, if this is you, um, you get out of this. But there's also, they're showing me like the dog here, the animal. So it, a pet could be significant. All right. Either like a maybe somebody may get a pet or they have a pet that may be very therapeutic for them that helps them during this season. If it's not an animal, it's something that they value that is going to kind of help ease them out of this. So that's a message you may even I feel like you may even help this person, though, which is why it's coming up in your energy. All right. So what was I going to say? What was I going to get? What else was I going to ask for you? What else was I going to ask for you? Yeah, Five of Cups. This is definitely some type of depression. But I see like an offer being made, like someone trying to cheer somebody up. So you may cheer this person up or um, somebody may cheer you up. But there's definitely an energy of like somebody is in the blues with this Five of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This could definitely be a Queen of Cups who's in the blues here. But you help this person out of it. All right. What else was I going to say? I just literally lost track of what I was going to say for you. Hold on. Oh, wow. We got you are more psychic than you think. Stop doubting yourself. All right. So you need to stop doubting your abilities. I didn't even see this card. Let me pull some more from these cards because I forgot what else I was going to pull. Also, Tyler, if you want me to do another reading for you, let me know. I will always do more readings if you want more like. You know, and I'll post another video for you if you want, like, to know more or, like, you want me to pull more. Like, I always got your back. Well, we have you are more psychic than you think, so stop doubting yourself. So, yeah, you are definitely a psychic. All right, you're definitely, um, I also want to say clairsentience, which means that you have feelings, um, you feel energies more. All right, so look out for also the winter season. You may even be more psychic. Like you may have more, you may be able to feel more like, like, you know, like an empath, like feel the energy very strong, but also make sure that, you know, the energy is not affecting your emotions, right? So you are more psychic than you think. Stop doubting yourself. So you definitely are psychic. You know, you're not just a tarot reader. You're not just a channeler. You are also a psychic. So you do have psychic abilities, um, you also may have some mediumship abilities too that maybe you are not say that they're underdeveloped, but you may have these abilities that you need maybe are haven't really fully tapped into yet. Okay. So definitely you are definitely, definitely um more psychic than you think. So don't ever doubt any intuitive abilities that you receive, okay? I feel like there's more I need to say. What I feel like there's something else I needed to say, but I lost track. Look out for the dates of February to March. All right. Um, when it comes to career, and I also feel like March, May, like I said, 20th to the 31st are going to be very important dates for you. What else do we have? We have photogenic. All right. And I do see something about music. We got criminal. Watching you on fake pages. Wow. So there's definitely somebody who is watching you on fake pages. I don't know if this person is. They're not a criminal. They're just a shady person. This could definitely be that weird energy I was picking up on with this girl. Or this could be a criminal. Maybe someone who has legal issues could be watching you on fake pages. Or somebody with a criminal past. Okay, that could be significant as well. This could be like a stalker with the criminal card too. Like maybe somebody may like start stalking you heavily. I don't know. May, I don't know if you press charges on this person. It may not even be that. But it's this person may just be very shady um, around you. There's something else I wanted to pick up on. What is it? I got these cards here, these love cards. I'm gonna pull a love message, a love message for you. I got tongue tied. Um, I still stand on my prediction about your love with marriage coming up. You know, um, for you. So let's see, what else? What else? We got Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, regrowth, transformation. 
growth change mind. So yeah, definitely over time, you're definitely going to go through this new phase, rekindle. You do have a re new phase in love too. All right. You got, you got a new phase in love. I'm not going to tap too much into love for you, but I'm going to um, pull some love cards, what you need to know. We got healthy choices. All right. So you're definitely making healthy choices. You're really about yourself. You're making healthy choices. I feel like too, um, you're making healthy choices with your diet, with your with your food, with your body. Um, a lot of self love for you as well. So you're really giving yourself a lot of self love. Um, you're really also, again, there's something about this leadership, this king role for you. That spirit is really trying to get you to step more into this kind of like you. Like I said, you already have stepped into it, but it's like stepping into it more, where you're just like this big king energy. And you have like a lot of success, okay? I don't know why I'm also seeing apples and bananas. I don't know if you like may start eating those. I just, I smelled like apples right now or like fruits. You could be maybe eating those right now or you may be getting into that. All right, let's see. Healthy choices. Let's see what else when it comes to love life. We got love call. Somebody expresses love, message of love, thinking you letting you know. Ooh. Let's get one more card. We got photo looking at your photos, missing you. And you know what? I feel like there is that two energies of this, this energy that I picked up for you before about this new person that you will be meeting. But then there is also um, that crazy girl that I've been picking up on your energy that is definitely looking at your photos. I also feel like you may receive a message from somebody. This could be a loved one. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be somebody that's going to tell you that they love you. They're thinking about you. Or this could be someone, this could be you towards somebody, okay? this Again, this could all be future. So if none of this resonates right now, um, that is okay. This is definitely coming in for you, okay? And so overall, to sum it up, you, you're, you got something about TikTok coming in. You got like, maybe you're going to create a TikTok account or you're going to be something that will go viral on TikTok. If it's not TikTok, it's some type of other platform. You got music coming up. Like I see like a song, like a big song or like a big musical coming up for you. There's a recording artist who wants to record with you. Something about a song or they mention you, they shout or they shout you out or they mention you in a song. Um... You're going to move in silence with this opportunity. There's a creeper watching you really looked at her energy. I feel like there could be someone around you that's going through seasonal depression. You're going to help them out. All right. Let's see what else. You got a Scorpio energy. You got brown eyes. You got car issues, car accident. You may have car issues or something that may happen to your car. Maybe the ignition, the tires, the brakes. I'm not sure. But um, or you may see something you may you may see a car accident or I don't know something by a car accident or you may see something. We got astral traveling. Uh, let me see what else we got small town. Archangel Michael's always with you. And then we got the joke is on them. So this is what I wanted to also look at. The joke is on them. You're getting the last laugh. So I don't think I really went over this with you. So you got definitely the joke is on them. You definitely got. You're going to have a last laugh with a situation. So I don't know if people have been coming back to you during Scorpio season. Uh, maybe where you used to live, people could be hitting you up, maybe trying to get in contact with you in some way. Um, maybe they may, maybe they've been trying to send you emails or you may start to get emails of people that are wanting to like cut resurface. Okay. And this is Scorpio season, which makes a lot of sense. Um, I also feel like you are definitely coming into this energy again of this leadership role. So whatever this opportunity that's coming in for you, you're going to have the last laugh with something. So I don't know if there may be people that doubt you or that undermine something. This could be just haters here that you're going to really like show them. And it's almost like a karma. What I'm picking up on what's going to happen to these people. Um, but I also feel like this is spirit reminding you that you will always get the last laugh with your career, with whatever you're trying to achieve, that it doesn't matter who's undermining you in this lifetime, because in this lifetime, you are meant to be the king. You are meant to have success. And with success comes a lot of haters. And with those haters comes the last laugh. So you're definitely going to prove a lot of people wrong with this opportunity that you're going to be embarking on. It's going to be very new for you, but it's going to build up your confidence even more. 
and you're definitely going to have the last laugh. So I heard new, new Tyler, new version, new version, new Tyler. There's going to be like a new version of you. You're kind of going from already being a butterfly, but even to a bigger butterfly, even to a bigger element. There's something about going bigger, right? A newer version or revamping your identity, revamping who you are. All right. Um, a black jacket could be significant or it may be a leather jacket. You may buy a leather jacket that could you may buy a, like a leather jacket or a leather jacket could have a significant meaning to you as well. Um, or you may purchase this in the future. But what else, Spirit? That's pretty much all what I have for you, Tyler. Um, you got a lot of interesting energy. Thank you again for allowing me to tap into your energy. It is such an honor to work with you and to not work with you, but to have this opportunity to um, do this reading for you, right? Because I feel like this is just a blessing for me to even do this reading for you, to give you this this message for you, because you're such an amazing person and you are such an inspiration, Tyler. Like I said, I love you so much. You inspire me and, you know, I hope that you enjoy this reading. I hope that, you know, this reading resonates. If it may not resonate right now, bits and pieces take what resonates, but um, know that, you know, this will start to manifest for you. So that's what I see overall coming in for you, the overall energies around you at this time. So yeah, thank you so much, Tyler. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye.